Carlos, great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Thanks uh, for having you've me. You've just finished your fireside chat at the Herdner LA Conference 2020. Would you like to give us perhaps just a recap for those that weren't in the room, some of the main issues that were touched on by the audience, some of the questions that you got from the audience in, my, in relation to Google and to Google. Well, I think, uh, yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, the biggest question that I get from many, and we're, we're on certainly this group's mind, was really, what is Google doing in travel? Why are they in travel and why is it so important? And I shared with them that, you know, it really is no different than Google's mission to organize information and make it, make it universally accessible. We want to do that in travel because travel is one of the most queried um, areas that we get. Mm. And so because of that, we learned early on that we need to continue to improve the answers that we deliver, you know, the answers that we give to the users. And so we always talk about it's not all about 10 blue links anymore. Uh, you know, people want relevant information in the time. And so we've, we've begun to aggregate more travel content to actually hopefully deliver better, more relevant answers. And so our mission in travel is really to provide, you know, useful information for travelers um, to make trusted decisions effortlessly yeah. and really hopefully, you know, simplify that very, you know, difficult, um, decisions that people have to make around travel there's so many options and if we can help make that simpler we help more you know we get more people traveling which actually helps all of our partners that we will with. the other thing is you know I think people ask you know who, who are you trying to be and, and at the end of the day we're really trying to you know support all areas in travel and all partners in travel whether it be OTAs metas or it be brands hotel suppliers direct or cars or crews or destinations we want to help and support all of them and helping provide more qualified leads for them that are efficient and effective mm. um, and so that's really the platform that we've developed yeah, yeah. I mean the OTA question did come up um, and you yourself said no that's really not our agenda that's not what we want to do I wanted to ask you though in relation to the book on Google piece because that's such a I mean, I personally am a big fan of Book on Google for, for a number of reasons, but I can also see how some people might be in some way skeptical of it. Book on Google, for my opinion, is perfect for anyone in the long tail that is struggling with their own personal pre or personal representation of their product online. Booking engine, whether it's mobile or even on, on desktop. a desktop environment. So I think that fills the gap wonderfully. But I think what's really important is that hotels also understand that they can diversify their distribution and that they shouldn't be so focused on one particular channel or one particular area. So what would be your advice to a hotel area at that level? Yeah, I, I couldn't have said it better in terms of they shouldn't be focused on one channel. And I say that to partners all along. I said, I don't expect you to use only Google. I don't expect you to use only an OTA. You know, you need to have a good mix mm -hmm. and you know, you need to actually really monitor that mix over time because it's going to change based on the needs of your property or whatever you are. Uh, and it's important that you look at that. And you know, in pure need times, you may be willing to pay more because you just need help and you should be able to, you know, wide stroke of, of help and opportunity. And so, I would share to even individual properties that you know, Google can certainly be a support, but that the reality is uh, you need to make sure that you are really, really looking at all of your options and you don't, you don't feel like you're tied to one. I think a lot of partners that I see with feel like they've, to a point, they've gotten to a point where they're really, you know, really vested in one or two mm. channels and they don't know how to get out. And that's where we really come in and say, hey, we think there is a new channel for you with Google uh, to help, we call it, you know, driving more direct business. Because it is direct because, again, you go back to it, we aren't the merchant, we are passing the facilitation, we're facilitating and passing it on, and so you own the customer information and data immediately. You do pay something for that, but, you know, certainly we hope that it's efficient and effective. And so, um, you know, we'll see, but you know, we definitely believe and we're, we're continuing to improve on products that help the whole swath, the long tail you said, as well as the upper funnel, but we really, we, we want to be a platform that's agnostic, that really supports everyone, because we think that's good. I go back to, we're all about the users. I think that helps the users if the more we have on the platform and the more options we help. It helps our users find what they want and it helps the partners out mm. even more. Mm. So uh, just over a year ago, you really expanded the availability of Book on Google as well through the European market especially. Yep. Um, how have, how's the pickup been? How's the response been from the hotels? From your perspective, are you satisfied with the way that they've actually started to use it, or do you feel that they could be 
using it more, and they I, could be. I, I honestly feel like they could be using it more. I think it's fine. It's done its purpose. It's for, certainly for some. Um, it's been more valuable than others. Um, you know, there hasn't been a ton, I would say, a ton of transactions through there yet. Mm -hmm. But I think it's only going to grow even more. And. Uh, you know, like you said, is, is it really could support some of the, the, the partners that really don't have the time, effort, resources to beef up their own um, sites to help convert. This is a great way to do it without yeah. having to do that. It does take a little bit to get, you know, you got to do a little bit to get connected. Right. But once you do, it yeah. should really help support that. So, you know, great choice hotels. I mean, they're a little bit bigger, but, they, but they're smaller hotels, but the brand itself embraced it globally. Mm -hmm. They've seen great returns. They've seen a huge increase in conversions uh, through Book on Google. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's a good case study for us that we're sharing with others saying, hey, you know, this is something that we believe is really going to help you see higher conversion because we're going to make it simpler. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, if you're already a signed in user on Google and you've already provided all of that information, you feel that there's some security behind that and so mm. one of the things that I find a real advantage is that with the book on Google process the hotel gets to keep the guest data yeah that you give that to the hotel oh, it's and all their data can work with that for absolutely the future, so. and I think that's one of the misnomers that people right. think that for somehow with Google on Google that we're capturing some data and we're doing something with it right. no 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 they own the data that's it's right. their data they get it all yeah. we're yeah. just facilitating and hopefully yeah. making it easier and hopefully driving more transactions is really what it's all about exactly yeah so okay good let's change gears a little bit. Could you give us some insights on how you see consumer behavior shifting uh, based on upcoming trends, say for the next 12, 18 months? You know, um, so it's interesting because obviously we've seen over time, you know, how people, certainly in travel, the journey, the journey has not simplified. It's gotten even bigger. The number of touch points people hit now before actually purchasing something can be in some instances up to three, 400, 600 touch points. Uh, people move fluidly from, you know, searching websites, direct, intermediaries to to review sites, to videos, to, you know, all over the board and trying to keep track of that. Uh, can be somewhat difficult, but it's a trend that we have seen. And so making sure that partners are are aware of that is really part of our job is saying, here is this, this journey uh, that's now taking place that's much, much different. But throw into that some other trends of, and I shared a little bit about this with the larger group today, of a voice search and what that's going to do and assistance and how that's going to help uh, hopefully drive different experiences. You know, how people search is so different now and so ubiquitous when it comes to the mobile device. But what happens when the mobile device is you don't even have that, we just have you know, we're pretty much connected everywhere. Because we now pretty much, we get in our car, the connection picks up. Yeah. You know, we connect, you know, we get to the office, it picks up. Um, but we see very different search behavior depending on you, where you are. You know, we see uh, at night a, a lot more, might not make a sense, we see much more mobile device search history during the day then when at night we see people picking up on desktop, et cetera, if they have one, because of the time and the larger format that they want. Um, and so it's just a big, how people search has really changed as the trend we're really seeing um, move over time. Uh, you know, personalization and relevance is really changing over time as data helps us provide better answers. Used to be, you know, reviews were the only thing we really had and we would go to reviews and then we would check and see, okay, this sounds like what I want. Now there is so much more, that people still go to review sites, let me tell you, that's another one, you know. But they also look for information on Instagram and, and feeds and all of this stuff that even sometimes are more relevant. That's a huge trend that is completely different than before, that actually people are making decisions on where to go next through an Instagram feed that they saw, or an Instagram post that somebody of some location that looked amazing to somebody, and now people are making decisions on where to go next. I don't think that was fathomable a few years ago that this people would literally choose based on that. And so those are definitely, you know, different ways of thinking. Um, and it's pretty, uh, and, and what's next, who even knows? But I mean, those trends are really, really changing. But what hasn't changed, which is, is great for Google, is people continue to search. So they continue to come 
a lot of this is being driven through search. And I'd shared, uh, somebody had asked a question about our app. We had a Trips app for a while, and, and we basically shut that down because we incorporated the features back into search. So you can find all of those features that you loved before in the app now through search. So you can certainly get it on your mobile, but also you can get it anywhere else. Um, and so I think it's, it's just really changing the way we as marketers or we as supplier partners or whatever have to think about um, how we reach the customer. Yeah. Jan Freitag was here on yesterday in his keynote. He mentioned or he predicted that Amazon will, at one stage in the next two or three years, make a, a, another run at travel. travel. How do you see that possibly playing out? Do you think that they may do an M&A or an acquisition at some stage? Um, and how do you, within Google, feel about that, prepare for something like yeah. that? I mean, you know, you can't, you can't fully focus on something that you have no idea how the end game will play. So, um, so from that perspective, you know, we don't, we're not up at night thinking about what move would they make. But we also aren't naive to think about how, you know, how successful they could possibly be yeah. because of the data right. and the information they have about such a large group of people. Even if you just look at the prime membership people, yeah. uh, how much information Amazon has about them and how, how, you know, how they've basically turned all your normal, your daily shopping into, you know, one click shopping, you know, why wouldn't they be able to do that with travel? I, my own summation of why it hasn't happened quicker is it's a much more difficult purchase than buying a book or a camera or some shoes. You know, there's so many more nuances that come with purchasing a vacation. That makes it a little bit difficult that you can't just box it up. And they did try and they tried vacation packages, right, in, in deals that they kind of, you know, boxed up specifics. But at the end of the day, I think they found that that didn't scale necessarily. And there was a lot of customer service issues that came with that and that they had to deal with and so I think at the end of the day do I personally think that they will get into travel again absolutely uh, I think if they do decide they want to get in a big big way they will do it through some sort of acquisition I think that's how they would you know step up the game quickly um, do I think it's gonna happen anytime soon I don't necessarily think it's gonna happen this year no. um, but I you know I think they will continue to um, to evaluate the space, and I think they they should, mm -hmm. and and we will, you know, we watch, we watch carefully, but at the same time, you know, I, like I told the group, is we are really focused on product improvement on our side, mm -hmm. so that we don't get caught off guard. I mean, we still have gazillions of people coming to right. Google, yeah, and the information in, in in the search history and the intent signals that we have based on search activity uh, is pretty profound and so we should be able to continue to do a great job in the travel space and if, if we just focus on all of these different opportunities that are out there to actually make it easier I mean again there's so much more information from a search. oh my assistants sure. wanting to search <laughs> um, I you know there's so much more information out there but it's not any easier to make a decision it's almost made it a little more difficult because because you know it's out there, so you're you're a little less willing to you know yeah, yeah. jump on it because you don't know what you might be missing out on. Exactly. I mean, I see them really as a sleeping giant in many yeah. ways. They're just a sleeping bear. They're, eventually, they're going to wake up. But you guys, in many ways, have got the jump on them when it comes to travel, and I think that's strongly in your advantage. Well, and I think that's probably why I say you know. A, a, an acquisition would be the right. way to go because then that would you know give them a but step change exactly. of, of where they go um, with that because you're right they don't have the, the history and they don't have the experience and right. you know we actually got there through an acquisition through ITA you know 10 right. years ago and that really helped us jump start our airline and our flights business mm -hmm. if we hadn't done that I highly doubt we'd be where we are today because um, that product has really I mean, it's such a terrific product. I don't just say that because I'm there. I mean, it's just become just this yeah, it is a great product. amazing product. I remember product. using it before you bought it, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's so cool. So, you know, that's, yeah. and it took that. And so, you know, we'll see where that goes. Yeah. But it's fun to watch. And I think, you know, competition is good. You know, you need that because it keeps us on our feet. People always say, you know, why are people complaining about you? When I talk about some of the other partners, you know, why are they complaining and blaming Google? And, I, and, and, and part of me is like, well, they shouldn't be. They should be looking at internally and, and thinking, what are we doing to innovate? What are we doing to actually build a better experience for our users? What are we doing to focus on making sure that customers want to come to us and continue to come back to us versus trying to, you know, 
complain about things that aren't much in their control. Yeah, okay, good. Final question. All right. What are your goals for this year? Our goals continue to grow our partner's business profitably. You know, we really do, um, it, you know, our product, you know, our products and services are so measurable. You know, you put in and, and you know what you're gonna get out. And so uh, we're really, really focused on, especially, you know, and I tell my teams this all the time, is just because Google's doing great doesn't mean all your partners are doing as well. And never go in and think that that's the case. Really, and, and many times, especially as, I think a lot of people are worried about 2020 in terms of a recession or what's going to happen and is our business slowing. And I've told my team, you know, you need to be really conscious of this and really understand how you can be there to help them through some of these periods because we do have a platform that can be very, very efficient if you utilize it right. So, so number one goal is really continue to grow, obviously our business and our partner's business. Uh, you know, I, I really want us to hopefully um, Number two is really help people understand uh, how, we're, how we're continuing to stitch together all of travel versus the, the disparate products. Because mm -hmm. I don't think people really necessarily, uh, in this room, and if you're in the travel, you get it, but the users themselves don't really understand mm -hmm. what they're, they're, that these are travel products that Google's creating. Stitching some of that together a little bit more so people understand that they, if they've come to Google Flights and loved it, um, that maybe looking for a hotel wouldn't be such a bad thing on Google as well. So we'll continue to do that. And I think, uh, you know, third, just really, um, I talked a little bit about video and YouTube, but, you know, I think I'd love to see more of the, my partners in, that work with us understand the value that video is. I mean, it's such a changing, you talk about trends that are changing, you know, the number of people that don't watch traditional television anymore mm -hmm. is staggering, mm -hmm. and, and video really is the place where a lot of people go to get their content. But very few um, travel partners really have embraced that platform. And so, you know, we're trying to change a little of that. We've got some pretty steep goals in video uh, internally in 2020 to get, at least educate, and I'm hoping get people to test and, and try out the platform. So we'll see, but um, it's always fun, that's it for is, sure. Isn't it? Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Nice Great to meet you. Thanks again for having me.